Hi everybody, thanks for watching today. So I know there's a bunch of you out there that still have some awesome drone footage and photos that you got with your drone and it's still stuck on your micro SD card because you're not quite sure how to edit it into something that you can be proud of and share with your family and friends and social media. And I did a video like this last year, last summer, and it did quite well. People had a good response and they wanted to see more. I still get asked all the time, do you have something that you recommend for video editing besides Adobe Premiere Pro CC? Because it is a little bit on the expensive side and you have to have a subscription to it. And some people just wanna buy a program and use that for their video editing. And so what I'm gonna talk about today is a program called Cyberlink Power Director, and it's version 17. And the reason that I really like it is, I think it actually is the best beginner's video editing program out there because it's easy to figure out and it's less expensive than most of the other ones out there and there's so many features. It's just packed with features. Now I'm not gonna show you all those features today. I'm just gonna show you the basics, how to get started with the program and how to take some raw footage from your drone and make it into something that you can present, something that you can share. So let's head inside, let's hop on the computer and show you how to use Cyberlink PowerDirector 17 to make something that you can be proud of. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Nice to see your smiling faces once again. Well, actually, I can't see your smiling faces, but it's nice for you to see my smiling face once again. If this is your first time here, my name is Russ, and this is 51 Drones. On this channel, you're gonna find a lot of content mostly related to high-quality camera drones, tutorials, reviews, comparisons, and things like that, but I also do an occasional tech product review. So go ahead and watch some of my content, and if you find any of it interesting or valuable, click on that subscribe button to join the community. Now, before I get into the video here to show you how I edit this drone, footage what I did is I made a 60 second video and so I'm going to show you that video and then I'm going to show you how I edited that video using Cyberlink Power Director but just a couple things you might notice my video looks a little different today that's because I'm using my Google Pixel 3 XL my mobile phone as well as my Blue Yeti microphone and the reason I'm doing that I just wanted to see how it looked I've never done it before I've always used a DSLR or a mirrorless camera or something like that and so I just wanted to try it and see how it looks now if it's not meeting your expectations I'm sure that you'll let me know down in the comments and I do welcome those comments so if you think it looks terrible or sounds terrible let me know and I'll never do it again so the second thing that I want to let you know is I did recently start a patreon account I really have some lofty goals for this channel over the next year and to reach those goals a patreon account is the way to get there now if you don't know what it is I'll put a link right up here you can click on that and that'll tell you all about patreon that'll take you to my patreon page so you can learn all about it and possibly become a member. Now, speaking of members, I do wanna give a shout out to my first five Patreons. So great, so awesome to have you, Ian, Jenna, Robert, Alan, and Rick. So thank you for becoming a Patreon, helping support the channel. And they're gonna have some access to some content that you normally wouldn't see on the channel. And uh, I think that's a great thing. It's a great, great way to communicate um, as a community. So, all right, enough of that. Let's get into Cyberlink Power Director. First, what I'm gonna do is show you the video that I made using some footage I got this summer on vacation. And then after the video is done playing, it's a 60 second video. I'm gonna show you how I edit the video using Cyberlink Power Director. So let's go ahead and watch this. All right, so that's it. A really simple video, 
cut to music with a fade in, a fade out, and a title. So pretty simple, right? I didn't do anything fancy. I didn't do any color grading. I didn't really do any editing. I just cut the clips where I wanted to and I put it to music and made a nice video that I would be proud to share on social media. So what I wanna do right now is show you how I made that video using Cyberlink PowerDirector. So let's go ahead and open it and, uh, and get started here. All right, I should say a couple things. This video assumes that you know how to get your SD card and put it into your computer and download the footage. And so I'm not gonna go through that. But once you open Cyberlink PowerDirector, this is what you're gonna see. Actually, the first screen that you'll see is gonna give you the option to do timeline, storyboard, or slideshow. And one thing that I never want you to do is click on storyboard. That is ridiculous. Please don't ever use storyboard. It's so confusing. But you're gonna go to this one. It's the timeline one. And I set my default to open to timeline mode. And so this is what most video editing programs look like. So just real briefly, what you're seeing here on the left hand side, this is the media content folder. This is where you're going to dump all of your videos, your photos, your music, and all of the content that you're going to use to make your video. Right over here is your preview panel. And so what I'm going to do before I do that, before I explain that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the, um, the media. So I'm going to click on this little folder right here where it says import media. You can also go right down here to this folder, import media, or a third way you can go up to file, import, and you can import media files. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it's gonna open up the folder that I've already prepared just to keep this video relatively short. It's gonna be longer than normal already, uh, but I'm gonna to try to get through it as quickly as I can. Now here's all of my videos that I took uh, with my drone while we were at Wisconsin Dells. And then what I did is I went to Epidemic Sound, which is a music provider service uh, with royalty-free music. Now, when I make a YouTube video, I have to use royalty-free so I'm able to monetize my videos. And so I use Epidemic Sound. I also use Musicbed, but most of my music actually comes from Epidemic Sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these by clicking and dragging, making sure they're all highlighted open and that's going to put them into my media content folder. So now I have all my clips, I have my music here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do some rough cuts. So if you look at these videos, let's click on this one right here and it's going to show you, let's see, we got about two minutes and 25 seconds of content just for this clip right here. And I'm probably only going to use maybe eight or 10 seconds of it. And so what we need to do is we need to chop up these larger chunks of video into short clips to create our final product down here in the timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some clips that I know that I want to put into this video. I have a few of them already prepared. Um, some of them that I remember when I recorded this. This one for sure is one that I want to use at the beginning because it's kind of a nice reveal of the Wisconsin River right downtown Wisconsin Dells. Beautiful place. If you guys have never been there, check out Wisconsin Dells, especially if you have a family. They say it's the Vegas for kids and it truly is the Vegas for kids, but nice place. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this up and we're going to take about eight to ten seconds of this clip to start our video. So actually, let me step back a little bit. The first thing that I want to do is make a title. I want to name this video at the beginning just to kind of give some context to it. And so if you look down the left hand side of the software here, there's all kinds of things. This is your media room. This is your um, special effects panel where you can add all kinds of fun effects. Now, most of these are pretty corny. Most of these you're not going to use, uh, but they are there if you want to use them. And then this is um, some other content that you can put on top. It's called video overlay uh, projects, objects, excuse me. This is your particle room. So you can add, you know, little um, screen particles over your videos. Now, what I do want to tell you, if this is a video that you guys are interested in, if this is a program you're interested in, I want you to let me know right now down in the comments if you want to see more tutorials on Cyberlink PowerDirector. Or you don't have to let me know right now, but just let me know by the end of the video if you want me to do more in-depth tutorials on this program because I really think it is a great beginner's program. And, uh, and like I said, I'm just going to show you the basics today. But if you want to see everything that this can do, maybe I'll do some follow up videos if I get enough interest. So please let me know. So this is the title um, section right here. And you can choose a number of different titles. I'm just going to choose a basic one right now. This one right here, I'm going to pull it and drag it down into the timeline. And they're going to put it on that first line right there. So right now it just says my title. So I'm going to do is click right over here. And I'm just going to change this. I'm going to call this, um, let's call it the Dells. Oops, the Dells. And I don't like the font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click. And that's, oops, no, I'm not going to double click there. I'm sorry. I'm going to double click right here. 
And that's going to bring up where we can change the font. We can change a lot of different things right here. And so I do like this font right here, the, the um, I don't remember what it's called, third rail. It's just a demo font, but I'm going to use it anyway. Now, I do want it to be a little bit bigger. So all I have to do is drag this out a little bit, and now it's bigger. Now what we need to do is center it. So I'm going to click on this right here where it says Align Objects. I'm going to Horizontal Center and vertical center, and that's gonna put it right in the center of the frame. So, click on OK. Now I have my intro, kind of my little title thing. Now the other thing that I wanna do with this, I wanna make this shorter, because it is 10 seconds long. I'm gonna grab the end, I'm gonna pull it down, I think I just want like a, let's say, four second intro. So right now we got a four second title. All right, so let's go back up to our media content. Click on that right there, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start piecing this together. I'm gonna to do some rough cuts, we're gonna start with this right here. It's called Dam 2. Now you can you can edit this in two different ways. You can either pull the whole clip down into the timeline and then cut it apart in the timeline right here. But I'm not gonna do that. There's actually a better way. You're gonna right click on the clip and, go, and do pre-cut right here. And it brings up the pre-cut panel and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and find the point where you want the video to start. So we want it to start right there and um, I'm gonna go ahead a little bit more. I actually want to start about right there, and then you're gonna click on Mark In. So that's gonna start right there, and then we're gonna find the end. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play it a little bit just to see what it looks like. We're gonna go up to about, we'll go up to about right there, and then we're gonna mark Out. So now we have an In and an Out, and we're gonna click on OK, and there's our pre-cut, and we're gonna pull it into the timeline and drop it right there. So now we are gonna do some fine tuning at the end here, but I got my basic rough cut in there. Now we're gonna click on this arrow right here, that's gonna bring us back to our uh, the rest of our content. I'm gonna pick another one. I'm gonna pick this one here, Dam, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the drone coming from the back side, and we showed the front, and now we're gonna show the back right here. Actually, this would be the other way around. This would be the front, and that was the back. <laughs> But uh, I think I wanna start about right there. So I'm gonna do a rough cut, uh, pre-cut right there. So let's do pre-cut and let's scroll ahead. And I think we'll go, we'll go about right there, mark it in. And then we'll go to here, mark it out, click OK. And then we're gonna drag it into the timeline and we're gonna put it right up against, maybe. It's a little bit slow sometimes. Oh, I didn't grab it, that's what happened. And we're gonna set it right up against there, okay? So that's how you do your pre-cuts. You're just gonna go through, find the spots that you like, pre-cut them, put them in the timeline. So I'm gonna fast forward through this right now until I get all my rough cuts done. And then when I put the, um, the song, the music below it, right here in the audio section, right here in the panel here, then I'm gonna show you how I cut it to the music. So let's go ahead and fast forward through this part. Okay, so now that I have all my pre-cuts put in there, I got my title put in there, I want this video to be one minute long because my song that I downloaded is one minute long. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of cutting. Now, when I make the cuts, what I wanna try to do is cut it to the beat of the music. Not every single cut should be to the beat of the music, otherwise it's too noticeable and it gets kinda of awkward. So you don't wanna do it for every single switch of the scene, every single cut, but a lot of the cuts could go to the music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the music down to the audio part of the timeline, which is right below the video. And you can see we need to cut off some of this video uh, to make it fit into the timeline. Now what I wanna do is I wanna stretch this audio out, so I'm gonna drag that down so I can get a better look at the audio, and then I'm gonna kinda of stretch it out a little bit too. Let's see here. Okay, just like that. So I can get a look at where the beat drops. So if you look at the, um, at the audio right here, you can see these peaks Right here, that's kind of where the beat kind of drops in. What you want to do is try to kind of make your video go to the beat of the music a little bit. And so right here, you can see that there's a beat right there. I want to try to time it so the intro goes away right when that beat hits there. So let's go ahead and just take a listen to it. Okay, so I think what I want to do here, actually, I think I want to do a fade out and a fade in of the intro. So I'm gonna go up here to transitions, which is this little lightning. And I'm not a big transition guy. I don't like all those fancy transitions. I'm a straight cut kind of guy. 
Um, I do like some fade-ins. I do like an occasional whip pan or zoom in or something like that. But uh, for this one, we're going to do, um, where is it now? Where's fade? Right there. We're going to click on fade and we're going to drag it right to the beginning of here. And then we're going to drag it right to the end of the intro. And so let's take a look at it. We might have to stretch that out a little bit. There we go. I think that looks pretty nice. And so I might make this fade a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it so it's a little bit shorter so it fades away faster. And play it again. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so that first one's not going to cut really to the beat of the music. It's going to have the fade in. But you can see right here, this is a nice beat. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Yeah, so what I want, I want it to transition between those two right there. So I'm going to click on it. I'm just going to drag it over to that point. Trim only. Now we got a little gap here, so we need to fill it up with this clip. So we're just going to drag it over and put them together. And so now when the beat hits there, there we go. We're a little bit behind on there. I'll fix that at the very end uh, so it looks better in the final product. You guys have watched it already, but uh, it'll be better. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make those same kind of cuts to the beat of the music. And so this one right here is a pretty big beat drop. I'm going to let you listen to this really quick and you can hear it. So I do want that to kind of drop in right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. And, uh, you know, before I do that, I'm going to move this one over. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through all of this. I'm going to get it looking just right. And then when I get everything set up the way that I want to, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on produce. And this is where you're going to actually make the video. Now, when I produce a video with Cyberlink PowerDirector, I always use this one right here, H.264. And then this video was shot in 4K. And so I'm going to choose the export uh, to be at 4K as well because I want it to look as nice as possible. So I'm going to do the 3840 by 2160 and the video is shot at 30 frames per second. So that's the one that I'm choosing. And then you don't have to worry about any of this down here. And then what you need to do is choose the folder where you want to save it. So you click on those three little dots. That's going to bring up the folders, choices. You're going to name it, whatever you want to name it. I think I'll call this one the Dells. And then you're going to click on start and that's going to produce your video. So pretty simple, pretty quick. I know I went through it pretty fast, but uh, but that's where I want you guys to let me know. If you want me to get more in depth, if you want me to kind of break this down a little bit more, maybe show you how to do some color grading, a little more, you know, kind of more fancy transitions. Like I said, I don't like to do that a whole lot, but once in a while I will, I will do some whip pans or some zoom ins and zoom outs. But just let me know if you want to see some follow up videos to this. Hopefully you got something of value out of this. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button on your way out. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed, if you want to see more content like this. And finally, don't forget to check out my Patreon to see what's available there for extra content, behind the scenes content, and things like that. I want to thank you for watching today. As always, fly safe and fly smart. <music>